In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can assemble an audio piece. This could be a podcast or a segment for a radio show. What we've got here is a quite typical way of doing an audio piece. We have some music, some narration, and some interview. This is put together in what we could call an AB segment. The AB comes from we have A for voice track, B for interview. So A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. To break it all up, we have some music in the beginning and a little bit of music at the end. As we went through in the previous lesson, you can add clips to the clipboard. Now we're going to try to use the clipboard to actually assemble a radio piece. Now let's start with a blank canvas, or workspace, as it is. Over here in the clipboard, we have some voice tracks and the interview divided into the two people that were interviewed, Simon and Graham, and we have some music. These are all the components that I need to produce my radio piece. It's a bit like preparing dinner. Over here, we have the neatly prepared ingredients for the meal. And now we're going to put all the ingredients together to make a beautiful supper. Let's start with a voice track. I can just drag that into the workspace and the levels will automatically be set. I'm now going to place my playhead in front of it and just press play to listen to it. Simone and Kipsky have been creating crazy sounds together since they were kids in the city of Utrecht. Here I can just add a fade by pressing F. And now I can take the first interview bit, drag that in, and place it. Press P for pre-roll. Crazy sounds together since they were kids in the city of Utrecht. We used to go skateboarding and then when we got tired... we. That sounded just fine. Now let's move to the end. We can just move our playhead by clicking. Or, if we are on the right track, we can use shift and right arrow and we'll jump to the end of the clip. Let's take voicer number two. And drag that in here. And we can already see that we want it to start right here. So we can just drag it further, like so. Again, just press F if you want to fade in. Let's have a listen to that. Excellent trying to make samples, sort of. <laughs> That's Simone Ackermans, the Simone of Simone and Kipsky. That sounded just fine. And let's take the next one. Placed it more or less where we want it to go. Let's press P and have a listen. Ackermans, the Simone of Simone and Kipsky. That kind of evolved into... Now this time that didn't really sound right. There's something wrong with the rhythm. The rhythm in your segment is really important. So one way of doing it is that you could just move this somewhere down here. So it's just out of your way for now. Now have a listen to what you have already. Listen for the rhythm. Sort of. <laughs> That's Simone Ackermans, the Simone of Simone and Kipsky. I press stop where I wanted the next piece to go. So now I'm just going to leave my playhead there. I can now drag this into place, as we've seen before, and it will snap right there. Or I can show you a shortcut. You can hold shift, command, left arrow. Let's have a listen to it again. Ackermans, the Simone of Simone and Kipsky. That kind of evolved into, you know, more technology. Rhythmically, that is much better. Now I can just add a fade out to this. I would actually like to have a breath at the beginning here. It starts kind of abruptly. Let's see if I can find something. It's not a lot. 
Well, there's something there that we can nick. Let's go down to the beginning. Again, shift, left arrow. There we go. Now we know we're at the beginning. I can just insert a little clip here, give that a fade. But since we've inserted it, I've messed up my sync. So I just have to keep in mind that I need to move this back. Let's have a listen to this again. The Simone of Simone and Kipsky. That kind of evolved into, you know, more technology, our first four. Let's jump to the next one. Now by using Scrub, I'm just going to go back a bit. Gives me manak kind of music. Press F for fade. So now we have this little bit here. Going to press up arrow to get to the track above. As you can see, I'm using quite a lot of shortcuts here. The next thing I'm going to do is import the next clip from the voice track and add that here on the track. Now, as we can see, we have small numbers on the clipboard. It's in Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4. If I press Alt 1 now, it's going to take the next clip and add it right at my playhead on the track that's highlighted. This way I can really speed up my work. I could now drag this into place, but I could also shuffle it into place as we've seen before. I just hold command and left arrow, and it's gonna move it into place. All right, this is where I want it. Press F to give it a fade. Press P for pre-roll. Full based hip hop kind of music. Ackerman says the band's music mix. Okay, that sounds fine. Shift right arrow, gonna jump to the end. Gonna use J to go backwards. Play. Keyboards, even sitars. Now I press stop where I want the next piece to come in. I need to remember to jump down to the track where I want the next piece inserted. What I need to do is press Alt 2, because it's group number 2, and it just pops in there. You can already see here, if I scrub with J and L, I think they're doing it. I think it. I think. this is where he starts talking. So before that, I can just fade up. So I just press F for fade. If I press P for pre-roll, we can have a listen to it. Drums, keyboards, even sitars. I think there's a pretty big sense of humor. That might actually be a bit Tars. too late. I can just hold Command and use the arrow keys or Control in Windows and just move it into place. Press P. Tars, drums, keyboards, even sitars. I think there's a pretty big sense of humor in our music as well. You know, it's kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> now let's try to put in some music at this point. They're referring to this song called More Is Less. I actually want the music to start from here and not from the beginning. So I'm just going to trim it like so, so it starts here. more or less where I want it. I'm just going to have a listen to it. Says the band work with a Dutch filmmaker they admired. Now it would like something else to happen. I would actually like this click, clip here to go on top of the music, like so. And now I'm going to drag a selection here, like so to make a duck. Something clicked and it just seemed like the band had this amazing data source so we, we had to grab it and had to start working with it. Actually it would be better if he ended talking here. Let's move that over here. 
And we can just move these fade points like so. Let's have a listen again. Something clicked and it just seemed like the band had this amazing data source. So we, we had to grab it and had to start working with it. Let's do the same here. We want the speak to come in. This time I don't want to make a duck. I want the music to just to stay down this time. I'm going to do it like this. So they launched a website called... A little bit closer. Put a fade on it. Forgot that. There you go. Still a tiny bit closer. That would be nice. P. So they launched a website called One Frame of Fame. On the site, you're presented with one frame from the video. You mimic the pose in the frame, take a shot with your webcam, and then upload the picture. More than 30,000 people have done it so far. The result is a frenetic mix of motion and stop action. As we can hear, we have a problem now because he starts to sing underneath the narration. That doesn't work so we need to fade out before that take a shot with your web let's solo this track here yeah that's it that's our problem right there so we're going to split the music here so they launched a website called one frame of fame on the site, you're presented with one frame from the video. You mimic the pose in the frame, take a shot with your webcam, and then upload the picture. Let's put the last clip in here. It had a whole bunch of people doing the same thing, but the, pic the pictures just look, the images look totally different, right? You had different people, different backgrounds, and people holding their cats in the images. And this is exactly what we wanted, what we needed for our algorithm. Maybe right here, it would be nice to have the end of the music. So we've got some odd instrumental music right here, and we have some singing over here. What we can do is we can split this region now. All this we don't need, but what we do know is that we've more or less aligned it at the beginning. So if I just cut this now, it's like so. We've got where the singing starts and the interview ends, like this. And this is exactly what we wanted, what we needed for our algorithm. Okay, so what we can do now is we can just drag this out like so. Now we can make a small fade. Now let's have a listen to this. You had different people, different backgrounds, and people holding their cats in the images. And this is exactly what we wanted, what we needed for our algorithm. And this we could use to have the music go to the end of the segment, like so. We could have the music just fade up slightly underneath the last bit here. What we wanted, what we needed for our algorithm. Now we're nearly done. We haven't figured out a way to actually start this segment yet. So we need to put something at the beginning. Now it would be nice if it actually opened with some music. So we can take the other piece of music here and put it in there. Oh dear. Now we really messed up everything. So, cause what we've done is we just dragged our music all the way on the top of the mix that we did before. Obviously that is not going to work. So I'm just going to undo that. One way of getting around that would be to add a new track. That is a way of doing it. We could also do something else, which is quite clever. We can drag a selection. This is roughly the amount of room that we have for this piece of music here. We could just take the music, drag it into the selection, and it's only going to give us from the beginning of the music to the end of the selection. I can always drag out more if I need it. It's just a neat way of putting some audio that you know is too long into an area 
where you don't really have room for it. Press Home to go to the beginning of the segment. Where Home is on your keyboard might vary slightly, so just have a look at the keyboard. But now that we're at the beginning, that's not quite where I wanted to go into the music. So I need to find the right space, but I don't really have any more room here. So what I want to do is give myself a little bit of elbow room. So I'm going to move everything here a bit further down the timeline just for the time being. I can do that by holding Alt Command and just pressing the first segment here. And it's going to highlight this segment and everything after that. That's Alt Control and Windows. So now I can just drag this down here. It's out of my way. I can get back to that in a second. Back to the music. I'm just going to drag that out. It's fine, let's have a listen to some of the craziness of this music. Then I want the first narration to start right here. Maybe you remember that we could set markers. I use markers a lot. So the point of this adding markers is I can now just go to somewhere else, like go down here, highlight this, and if I just press three, my playhead is going to be exactly where I set that marker. Now I can use Shift Command left arrow or Shift Control left arrow to move everything here down so it can snap to the playhead. Like so. All I need to do now is mix it. I'm just going to create a sound bed. Simone and Kipsky have been creating crazy sounds together since they were kids in the city of Utrecht. We used to go skateboarding and then when we got tired we just spend hours pressing pause buttons. And Again we have the same problem as we had at the end. You start singing here so at this point here I want this music to be out. So now we have something that looks like a segment. <laughs> 